Okay, this is James Peters with Skyflight Robotics. We're gonna finish up here with the mechanical mounting. You'll see we've got the Phantom 4 Pro here. Got a nice Skyflight Robotics uh, decal on the front that comes with the kit. We would prefer you put that on there, but you don't have to, obviously. So we'll spin the helicopter around, and you'll notice I, I got the gimbal security mount still left in there. Um, so the first thing we wanna do is we install the cradle mount so simply just push it through here like this get it get it up through the helicopter you'll notice these nuts will come into a slight contact just before you snap this in now the key here is you want to bring this back until it touches on these legs at the top and where it touches then you just go ahead and snap it in just like that now that's locked in so you want to have this back to where those are pretty much touching it. Um, the thing is if you get it too far forward it can interfere with the gimbal because the beauty of this system is you can use the gimbal and the red edge at the same time. So if you're running drone deploy which we like to use for our mapping um, application um, it works beautifully. You can go ahead and you can do a full um, map sequence with the, the color camera in very high resolution and you can also be mapping in multi-spectral at the same time. So let's get into the next phase here. So now you've got the red edge. Um, you got the electrical connections mounted over here on this side. And you're going to go ahead and slide this on like this. And you'll note the orientation uh, on, the, on the mount here. It shows in and the little lock block right here on the back. So you really can't get it on backwards. So anyway, go ahead and put your fingers up around the front of the cradle mount just to kind of hold it from breaking loose and slide it in. You'll hear the click. Now that's mechanically in there. Now the next thing you'll notice is the, the downwash light sensor, um, or mast we call it, sensor mast. You want to find the center location here of this of this area by just you know kind of a feel you, you, it, it'll it finds its way home into there very nice now the the back of this this clip this when you take this on and off once it's mounted you spread this apart and it comes right off and then it snaps right back on so that makes it nice you leave this on once you've installed it and if, let's say you want to do some cinematography work you don't want the red edge on there dragging you down cutting your flight times down because it does reduce the flight times somewhat um, so you can take it all off. You know, if you choose, you can take the red edge off, leave the mast on. The mast doesn't really affect it that much. We we haven't seen any detrimental flight dynamics effect by just leaving this on and, and taking the camera off. The camera is the heavier portion. But if you want to remove it all, you can. That's the beauty of this mount. This clips in. So what you do here is we'll try it this way first, and then I'll show you how you do the the actual decal or the the adhesive pull off so you'll find the, the the sweet spot here you'll feel it kind of nest its way into its place and you'll snap that and you'll hear the click this is now clicked in place and when you're ready to mount this and I'm not going to do it in this video it's, it's very simple you take an exacto blade and you just catch the edge of this and you can lift lift up the the peel off cellophane it's a clear plastic membrane. You peel that off very carefully, pull that membrane all off. And then you want to take an alcohol wipe and wipe this area clean with alcohol. Now the key here when you mount this portion is to make sure that you keep this above um, the, the sensor here. So you'll notice right there is where you want it. So you don't block that sensor because when you take the mast off, then you'll have a clear view on this sensor and, it won't, and your collision avoidance will be working. Now, when you're using the, the Red Edge integration kit, you're gonna, go want, you're gonna want to go into um, your settings in, um, in, uh, DJ, in the DJI app and uh, DJI Go and shut off the, the uh, collision avoidance. If you don't, it, it doesn't affect it. Um, it we, we haven't had any really issues with it because it's like the it, it boots up with an obstacle in the way and it, it doesn't care then it just kind of ignores it um so if you forget to turn it off it's not a big deal but we we suggest you do we've we've done it both ways with no issue but i feel better if it's if i know it's turned off so 
you'll you'll peel the backing off the adhesive here this is cleaned and then now that we've found, we've nested it you just push it forward and then firmly push this into home and just hold it there for a few seconds nice and firm and and then it's bonded so at this point we've made uh, we've made all the uh, connections to the the system um, it's mechanically mounted and in the next phase here in the next video we will uh, we will do the I'll show you the electrical connectors and try to anyway to where it's it makes sense it's pretty straightforward I, I think um, anybody who's had a red edge they get the, get it at this point if you're new to all of this I think the electrical wiring one where we'll we'll go ahead and we'll mount the uh, We'll mount the uh, sensors on top and run the wires down, put some tie wraps on them. Um, you know, it, it takes all of about another five, at this point you're like five minutes away. So it's, it's quick, it's easy, it works great. We've been, mount, we've been mapping um, this whole season with, with, with the Phantom and it's just amazing what you can get out of this little helicopter as far as multi-spectral mapping capabilities it's just phenomenal we're, we're very pleased with the, the outcome um, with the, in low wind conditions we can we can get uh, slightly above 70 acres at 400 feet running 80 percent overlap on the camera so i mean it's that's that's awesome with, with it off obviously just running drone deploy doing just a standard rgb map you can get a little bit more but overall uh, you know beautiful conditions it, it can it can do a nice job so this is james peters signing off until the next video for electrical connections thank you